like DNR said, yo, if, if George Soro made a call and said, yo, listen, man, I want him up out of here, that's what's going to happen. So if the right peoples make the call and say, yo, we want him up out of there, we need him up out of there, that's a waste. That's what's gonna happen. Hold on, hold up. Wagwan yasa, wagwan yasa. Sir Q, what you say about me? What me say? What me say? Yeah, man, I dot me say. And you know, say enough people no listen when me talk. Enough people no listen when me talk. A whole heap of Gaza fans, a whole heap of Gaza sheep, them a pray me. And them a say cartel free, and them a chew it in my face, and them a SYM this and SYM that, your mother, your kids. Be a disrespect. But them not check the facts. Them don't check the reality, people. If you are Gaza fans and you listen to me, you're supposed to know this. I have never said that cartel can come a road. Just like what Sir Q just said. DNR telling us, say, if the right people make the phone call, them have to free him up. Regardless of evidence. Regardless of anything. If the right call make, them have to free him up. And why is that a conversation? I want to stop and think about it. From the get go, I have been telling y'all for 13 years, no system now fight Vibes Cartel. He got caught up. He got caught up. Vibes Cartel and his co accused them did find themselves in a very, very, very sticky situation. And somehow, somehow, he must go make a deal and figure a way out tight. I've been saying that from the get go. And you know I said the one time, look how much case, look how much trial, look how much something go on. And the one time I say I'm go free, you notice I'm actually free. Over the 13 years, one single time I say, yeah, I hate this, I the freedom this. And what? I freedom this. So when people are pre me, them now made the thing. What about the facts? What about the facts? If I told y'all in 2014, he would be found guilty. And he was found guilty. When I told y'all in 2020, said the appeal, it now go work out. It never work out. When him got privy counsel, me tell him, say, listen, they can quash it on the grounds of jury misconduct because, yo, that clear and apparent. But nothing else. They might go send it back if anything. And they sent it back like I said they would. Remember when them filed writ of habeas corpus? Me tell you no say that now go no way. I wrong thing that. Didn't I? Did I? Did I not tell you all that? Come on people. I broke it down for you all time and time again. Never wrong. Never wrong. So why them a pray me? Why them think a bad mind? Why them think a hate? Why them no look on the reality say a fox? Cartel wife seems like she work with a secret agent. Because them look on cartel and say cartel is not a Grammy Award winner. Artists and him fight the buckle financially strong. Who is cartel if you have so much financial back it if behind him and them don't get them on on it? Because when cartel dead and gone, the level of royalty they are dropping at some people hand where can hang it. So them put that woman here for comfort. To come take the royal today and take them asset there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Dance all news and reviews. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that like button, and we have to drop a comment. You see me? Alright, people, boy, your oh boy, conspiracy theory. I think not. Everybody I gotta say what them feel for say are them opinion. Now this gentleman right here, he's, he's bringing up a very serious point right here that you know Vice Cartel wife, you know, see them. It seems like it look like say she's an agent, you know, a plant. Someone that was placed with her because of some ritual, some deal, something that was signed. Or maybe it's just true love naturally. Who knows? Maybe she's just pure and this lady and, and think about it people, you know, psychologically, make a pre that thing, yeah. She would have a sick in her head for be a young girl. You see me for fall in love with one man with sick out and they behind bars. Other than the fox and famous. You see me? So she's either a gold digger, a fame hungry person, 
No way, like you can't farm band with Vibes Cartel naturally because you and him never meet under natural circumstances. He was never an ordinary human being, so you have to meet him under circumstances where he's been behind bars for murder. He's famous, him sick, him this, him that, and you want to be a part of his life. And you knew he may or may not come from behind bars and you stay with him or whatever you believe in him no uh -uh, that no sound plausible that sound shaky yes we know say you have women where seek out serial killers and you know all sorts of murderers and people like that you know some of the worst of the worst people them on death row and stuff like that them have women with turn groupy you know like jeffrey Dahmer and them people eh? yeah them have groupy them have women where well lost after them yo drool after them do anything for them survives cartel it wouldn't surprise me. She's one of them, like them kind of woman they would have got crazy if you want Jeffrey Dahmer or any type of serial killer. You see me? Not saying, you see it, but you get what I'm saying. Alright. And you know mean say the love not real, you know. The love can real as real get, you know. But she really love her psychotic, you know, psycho why why mad out person with deep down inside and a data they allure. We know say that is a possibility. But we not theorize upon that. We not even venture down the road there. We are gonna pray the part where she's there for a reason. Like the gentleman is saying, she's there, planted there to reap the assets, to be the wife. And when him dead and gone, she are gonna have the assets them. Worse if him not have a proper will. Him better sort out when he sort out from now, you know. Hey. Because them no say, him not gonna live long. She's a pretty little girl, come. So them hypnotize him. What this woman did there all these years, all of a sudden this woman surface. And him take the bait because he's a fool. Him take the bait because he's a fool. Him thinks he love that woman, I love him. That woman is on a mission to take away the musical royalty from Cartel and him family. That away, them put she up for come do. Ja, no, hypnotize the world boss. Them dangle, the <laughs> them dangle the white, <laughs> the pink thing in front of him and turn him in a fool. Well, that the gentleman I allude to. I don't know if it is true. It is possible. It is plausible. You know what I mean? The man have this snow bunny syndrome and them are play upon that. It's a possibility that she is on a mission. A mission for conquer him. You see me? Take over everything. You see me? Weave our way in. And own all the rights, all the royalties for his music years to come that have a lot of value to it. You see me? Yeah, millions and millions, one top of millions in US and pound. So, yeah, he's a great asset if them can actually, you know, get the proper grips into him. Hold on, the whole on, the deep down in other video, yeah. You're gonna get my synopsis and my reasoning because at the end of the day, while this is plausible, I have a way more sinister theory on it than he does. So the system, not only a, a get rid of him, the system a take away him financial wealth from the family. And him sit down there. All good for a woman when he can't have sex because him, the, the sickness mash him up. So he can't have sex. So what they doing? What they doing? Posing and giving away everything that you work for to some white collar people and white scholars. Understand yourself, he's like a fool. I'm here to tell you this all the while. Say he's a fool. I don't know if you can undo your foolishness before it's too late. Because I take them come for take this. Just like how Chris Blackwell did want to take it from Bob Marley. If Bob Marley never wise, return I get nothing. And you come, I take it. I hand it on a silver platter and a golden platter to them people. You know, say you're a born idiot. That's why I know, say you're never intelligent. You're going to play with words. And you play with words. And get them great songs. Yeah. And you never even give the most high any credit out of it. I'm going to back. I'm going to back in a trouble at about... In times of trouble, Father God, whatever, whatever. Man, enough for go and think on the camera, God, man. That, my friend, was a very interesting take on it. You see me? Very colorful. The man had a lot to say. The man said, Cartel a fool. He's a big old idiot. 
him basically a give away well like family wealth the generational wealth when build up him actually a shoot it way to white people white color people some people i don't know what go on from what i go on it's possible it's plausible the man has a vibes cartel no smart no time no way no how i just word play them try to do the same thing to bob marley the man said that never work but it look like them are gonna get away with it um with cartel I don't know people, as I said, very, very interesting. So drop one of you, share phone of you in the comments, people. We're gonna check out where Sir Q have said about this, you know, cause you don't know as a Gaza man or as a man where big up and rate the Gaza. Make we hear what Lion Squad I say. The way I see it, I think it was that it was that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, She's the one who introduced the thing, the, the deal to him, the plan to him, like, yo, you know, you could come up out of here, you know, I got some links, you know what I'm saying, that could probably help you out, you know, and they start maneuvering them links, you know what I'm saying, and... Boy, oh boy, either way you take it, you know, she is a part of it, she is an agent one way or another, but I don't know if it's intertwined. I don't know the full extent of the role where she a play. Is she just random or is it that she's a package gift? You understand me? She's a part of the package. She's the handler. She was sent in. So the question people, is it just for royalties? The question, is it just for royalties or is it way, way bigger than a lot of people are thinking? And trust me, I think it's way bigger and i am gonna explain it you see me because you know you know it go already we reason things deeper like dna you know, said yo if, if george soro made a call and said yo listen man i want him up out of here that's what's gonna happen so if the right peoples make the call and say yo we want him up out of there we need him up out of there that's a waste that's what's gonna happen andrew and none of them ain't gonna be able to stop that you see so from the thing how the thing oh me would i look on it you know on a conspiracy theory side not saying that's what happened i'm just drawing a conspiracy theory on a conspiracy theory side to me you know it looked like these people got real interested in this man body's body of work you know what i'm saying in his disc discography you know, in, in, you know, all his publishing. Because Cartel is worth, right now, is worth a lot more than what you, we are all looking at. A lot more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right now Cartel is easily worth 100 million US. I'm telling y'all, easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just, he got to figure out how to bleed it out you know what i'm saying and get it but easy that i'm looking at really like 300 million us is vibes cartel worth 300 400 500 million us yes most likely why not i mean he's a big artist big dancehall artist catalog big you see me and you have to remember say royalties last uh, 75 years so if them can get a all of his royalties now that are gonna last for 75 year people 75 year you understand me so they can make money plus it's the brand name you see me movies um documentaries all you know branding all sorts of things like if they can get a hold of this guy's royalties and publishing Yo, millions point up on millions, you see me? So yes, he is worth a lot, but him no know how to get it out. And yes, outside entities might actually see it and try to run in. Because at the end of the day, him are the one where basically, you know, fun theme thing them. Remember saying basically independent. For the most part, he is independent. And normally, your artist no reach to the power level where him reach and actually be independent. You see me? You dig? It's not manifested, he ain't necessarily got it, but it's there. You understand? If he know how to work that. It's there. If he dead right now, his, his material, automatically the price of them is worth at least a billion dollars. For all his work. Easy. That's what, that's what the price of it's going to shoot up to. You see me? So I think some people got wind of this 
speaker later on because he kind of blew up not like a shabba but really on the real on the real um on the how do I put that now on the real street level all around the world before he he stuck his head out to say, yo, I'm here. All right, all right. We hear one say, but a time for my theory now. Because when I talk, but when I look on it from a smaller picture. Like I said, I gave you the name George Soros. I gave you George Soros. When I talk about millions and millions, 200, 300, 400, 500 million. But you don't realize we are talking about billions. When we talk about billions, we are talking about the gold and the oil we in Jamaica. We are talking about the fox that the PNP want to be the ones in power. And they are willing to help cartel get out of prison if cartel can help them go in a power with his influence. You have to understand, say, yo, the powers that be behind the scenes who understand, say, the amount of gold and oil we in Jamaica worth over 100 billion dollars. Over 100 billion dollars. So we not talk about oh, 300 million, 400 million royalties here, royalties there. There's billions, one top of billions on the line. And the powers that be, the players that are behind it, the power brokers, those people are looking like, yo, we want to get back the power. We can't make the JLP have it. We need to get the angle upon this. Any, any, even if cartel can just edge, give us 2% of vote, I mean, Yo, I mean no hundred percent for your facts. Eh? If Vibes Cartel come out and end us the PNP in the next election, it are gonna sway voters. There will be some voters who are gonna sway. Me guarantee you it are gonna make people get up and vote. They probably never even vote before. If Vibes Cartel campaign for the PNP party, it's gonna be the difference between losing or winning. I guarantee you that. And I believe it is worth it for the PMP them to do everything to get cartel out. And that is why it happened. You have to remember, say, there are powers that be who bigger than me and you're far out there. You see me behind the government who have control. Real powerful people who have investment in the island, gold in a Jamaica, real ownership. We stand for gain substantially. You see me? And them people eh, sit down and I play with people life like them I play chess, Monopoly and them game there. You understand me Russian roulette. You know say honestly, I believe that Vibes Cartel took a deal behind the scenes. He took a very serious deal behind the scenes. And I believe they gave him this girl as a patsy. But believe this or believe it not if you don't want to, it's your belief. I don't care. This is me because I have sight beyond sight. However you calculate it, Vibes Cartel cut a deal one way or another. There was a deal cut. Me tell you no all the time, no system name a fight him. However, him never did a play ball. And I believe when him face when him face the situation and the health really a crack down upon him and the man a look into certain things, them really push him to him limit. I believe they cracked him. They crack him open like a like like a cashew. You see me? Them crack him open, people. Them bust him open and them say, listen, yo, look on your health situation. What you willing to do for we? You go work with we? They crack him open, people. They let him out for their own political gain, for their own masterminding. Believe it or believe it not. Get it? Mining, gold, oil, anyhow. Hey, listen to me. When I joke out the thing, you know, when I look on the small picture, but Vibes Cartel is an influential person, a puppet, a pawn on the table where them can use to fulfill them agenda. And who does a think? Small as always. Small as always. You really think the Vibes Cartel coming out of prison is by accident? You thinking that Privy Council hearing was was by accident the expediting everything? You hear Cartel make some speech like say him and the him and the crown are link good. Like him uh, 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 and, and, and the, the king a good friend. The man I make some talk like him no say the link real people. Just on what he was saying, I was like, yo, him have a link, you know. Him have a link to King Charles, you know. Something in a something, you know. It's because whoever the power player, the power broker is, them have 
King Charles certain way. Where, where them know say me that in them corner or them have leverage upon him for make him do things. It's it's reality people. I don't know game. So whoever I pull the strings behind the scene, make cartel know say listen, we can get you out. We are gonna get you out. You just have to fulfill the mission, whatever them want him to do, whatever the agenda is, he might go fulfill that. He is the figurehead, he might the spokesperson. And obviously they removed Paula, the DPP removed her because she was actually a major stumbling block. You don't know if she did it, them name go get him out. So they had to get rid of her. And who did it? The PNP, Mark Golden, Peter Bunting, Philip Paulwell. They worked and kicked her out of office. Meds it no? Why? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? To facilitate the freedom of Vibes Cartel. So you say, no man, Cartel are small friars. Yes, you would think that. But in a, the bigger scope of things, alright, watch on man. You have a big old tractor trailer. Or a big old locomotive train. You know, say, one little wire, one little wire. Can't cause it to stop work or broke down or crash and all sorts of sitting. Remember good, no? One little connector can off, one little bolt can unravel and everything fall apart. So a, a small cog in the thing can play a major role. If you look upon it, if you say, oh, that small in my small fires, warm to the battery in the car. Look upon the little battery, we are poor the big old car. Remember good, no? Without that battery, what you go do? How the car go work? Remember, no, people? Remember, no, you, you take out some of them spark plug, the piston and them thing, there. Remember no one like a starter? Remember no? So a small thing can play a major role. So when people look upon it and I say, Oh, this, that, that, them now see the bigger picture. There is something at play here. Way bigger than what you're thinking. You see me? And it involves a lot of players. Me does a whoop say I know no demonic thing. You see me? Because we see what go on at the Olympics. We see what them try with the World Cup. We see what them a do. I mean, a whole lot of things are going on. We see what going on over Brazil the other day. The demonic thing, the boy, them are unleashed upon the world people, the agendas. Boy, oh boy, I pray it's nothing like that. I pray it's not no awakening of demons and, and things like that, you know? Help an earth situation. At the same time, me know how them things are going. I hope it's just political. Like, them get him out for help them political agenda or them island mining. I hope it's nothing more nefarious than that because people trust me, there are crazy things that can be at work. Crazy things that can be at play here, you know? So you have to be careful. We as the average citizen, we see certain things are uh, a uh, play out and we know say yo it bigger than we. But remember, Bob Marley. You remember Bob Marley? Attempted assassination, Bob Marley, cancer, Bob Marley dead. Meds the thing no people. CIA, this, that, that, there's so much behind it, eh? So much behind it. So why you know nothing so all the things that behind Vibes Cartel? If so much was behind Bob Marley, why you know nothing say nothing be yo, you know so you know, yo John was so my time after all I wonder and scratch all made and say, yo, you know can see things happen. Like and then other things happen. I wanna can't believe it. It's like people who read the Bible and hear about angels, but if them see one one thing we have flap wings, them lose their mind. If an angel ever appear to them, them lose their mind. The same people get up every day and praise angels and this and that. If them see one, a problems, them run gone, run left them Bible shirt and shoes and everything. But them get up every day. You see me? Them same one cuss the devil, cuss the devil every day, but them read a Bible where praise the devil, them never realize that. You see me? Lucifer, morning star, star, eh? Star, one of the angel, fallen angel, Lucifer, the most beautiful, prettiest angel, quote unquote. Ray, 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 so much reverence, but them cuss the devil. Yo, it's, it's like them not pay attention to what them I read, but. Anyhow, to wrap it up all neatly with a little shiny nice bow up on top of it, people, Christmas gift, what me say? Sir P. Bina tell you no. Me Bina tell you no. Vibes Cartel is a puppet for the system. The system Bina work for free Vibes Cartel. Only things are mad. Only things are conspiracies. And yet still, many of y'all say based on the evidence, based on this and that, he would never be free. And me tell him to say it only take one phone call. If George Soros them want him out, him a go come out. If certain powers that be want him out, him have to come out. No one can stop it. They will, they will set the stages for his release. So said, so done. 
But but you not go tell me say me I that me this me that ray ray ray. But yet still, it actually happened. Like I told y'all, it would. No year what go on, pan what go on. People, we knew them actually kick out Paula Llewellyn to facilitate the release. We knew that Claudia Thompson and the rest of the DPP deputies them weren't gonna do nothing. We saw them first and dropping the ball. We were calling it play by play as it was happening. I told y'all Justice Martha McDonald's was looking dirty. She got a promotion in at the mig light to me that was a buyout. You see me? Her promotion to president was a payment to help facilitate the release of Vibes Cartel. Nobody can tell me different. You see me? That's my belief. You understand me? So it was all a plan, all a setup. Remove Paula, install some little E that when I go put up no, no chance, no resistance. When you think about it, where is the evidence? After Paula tell them say I'm ready, I'm ready for retrial. Then Claudette them show up and, and them no know not bone evidence. Evidence lost. Nine pieces of evidence. The most critical set of evidence can't find. Eyewitness can't find. Eh? And, and to make matters worse, even when Vice Carter tell them a cry, say, sickness this and auto operate at 50% capacity and ray, 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 they never even push back. They never even made an argument against that. When Carter tell them, say, they have expert this and expert that, they did not even argue. Not even argue them, not argue with people. So at the end of the day, it, it don't look fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy from morning, people. Never look good. I swear. He, walk, he told all of y'all, none of y'all is worthy. He want that snow bunny. <laughs> That's what that say on that level. Now, on the other level now, what you can't knock him for, if it was a situation he had to use to come up out of there. It's funny to me how enough people have this shorty white woman thing. Shorty I did the original, the white woman come and this and that. People, it bigger than cartel being a snow bunny lover or sellout. Him never have a choice. He was behind bars and the only way he was coming out was through that snow bunny. The acceptance of that snow bunny and whatever deal him cut. People, open your eyes, pay attention, listen good people. It's obvious Vibes Cartel had to do what he had to do. It was the only way he was coming out. The only way. And it was definitely life or death behind there. Because they brought him to the to the brink of extinction. He was knocking, knocking, knock, knock, knocking on the dead doors. Not even doors, you know. Dead doors. Hell doors. So at the end of the day, people, him did have to do him have to do. They pressured him. Whatever he signed, whether, whether I'm royalties, whatever I'm signing over people, best believe it. They pushed him, they pushed him, they pushed him to the brink of extinction. And he, he obviously caved. He caved. He gave in. And him that road. It took them 13 years to break him. 13 is a strong, hey, a strong number. Strong, powerful number here. 13 years it took for break him and he broke he gave in and him that road now so people what's to come what's to come we can only watch we can only watch all right that's my theory you see it a dancer theory anyhow anyhow and the captain and vulture squad attack to already already you know big up on the self hit the like button and share the video do the right thing subscribe to the channel subscribe captain of the vulture squad Arrgh!